Good morning and welcome to day three of the Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships 2024. We're live from Potter's Resorts in Hopton-on-Sea. Coming up is another pairs match between Robert Paxton and Jamie Walker playing Tom Warner and Perry Martin. This afternoon, Scotland's Paul Foster MBE and Jason Banks take on Chris Carrivers and Justin Wright from Australia. Then we'll see our first open singles game between England's David Bolt and Julia Gallo from the USA. Our final game sees Jason Greenslade and Michael Stepney play Ronnie Duncan and Connie Walker. Now our party over to Zach Patterson. Thank you, Emily, for that marvellous introduction. Hello, everybody. So, first out is an English pair featuring an under-25s national finalist and national mixed pairs trophy winner. Give it up for Tom Warner and Perry Martin. <laughs> this morning you have a pair consisting of a former world champion and the current world singles trophy holder ranked number four and ten in the world Robert Paxton and Jamie Walker <laughs> And throwing you back to the box with Emily Ferguson and Darren Burnett. Good morning and thank you once again for joining us this morning on day three of the Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships 2024. Joining me this morning is Darren Burnett. Good morning. Yeah, good morning everyone. Uh, another open pairs event for us here to, uh, in this match. A new pairing of uh, Robert Paxson and Jamie Walker against the English pair. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. A lot of people sometimes ask how the how the pairings work. Yeah. You know, ultimately, if you're your world number one, then in theory you have the the first pick of anybody else in the top 16, and it just works its way down from there. So number two then picks, and three and four and so on. A lot of pairs have played for many years, and, and it just naturally fits. But every year there's usually somebody drops out the 16, and new pairs have to follow them. You've played with Stuart Anderson for quite a few years now, haven't you? Too many. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Stuart, I've, I've, I've had a, a number of years at it, and, and, and that's naturally what tends to happen. Most most of the pairs join up and all stay together as long as they can, but yeah, it's always, always got to be some mixing around of, to see if somebody not drops out of 16, then inevitably you have to, to find a new partner. So this year there's a couple of new pairs. Most of them will be coming up today. You'll see them in action this afternoon. The Jason Banks and Paul Foster, a new pairing as well. Two red. Ah, uh, well done, Perry. Yeah, good opening ball there. Good 
line from Jamie, just overplayed it slightly. Chance for Perry. But a really good first bow if he can just repeat that. Get another one in. Back to that because often if you're just carrying a That's bit of pace, one you're just sit past, but he put it well, locked on the balls. There's a new underlay on the portable rink this year. Exactly, 28 and a half metres. Seems to have slowed the pace down slightly. How did you find it yesterday, Darren? Yeah, well, I thought we remarkably found it pretty well. But, um, yeah, no, it's it's definitely slowed it to a little bit from the normal pace we would get. And what you will find over, over the next two and a half weeks is the pace will drop each day. That's just a natural process. You know, the, the capital will slacken as the event goes on. So, you know, to see it slightly slower at this stage, you, you know it's going to only get slower as it goes. But, yeah, I mean, the... The hands are, are okay. Just at, at, in the night game, I think it gets pretty straight. You know, the the margin for error seems to be a lot less at night. You know, if you if you just missed your line, you get punished. Um, right. We went on last night, and, and a number of teams that played the previous night had said how 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 much heavier it got and and, and much straighter. And to be honest with you, the the, the pair against us. Uh, Played a number of balls and I thought they were good and they just sat on the line for, for a long time. So, you know, I think it's just natural at night. The temperature outside drops, the you know, the arena probably slows down. So, yeah, it's uh, depending when you're playing, it's always a, a slightly different challenge. Um, this game here and the afternoon games, I would imagine it's playing it probably its quickest. Um, and then in the evening, it tends to drop a bit of pace. There from Tom. I think he needed that because the first two balls the, the previous end were a bit loose, so he'll be happy with that one. It's a good second. Gives Perry a chance. It's also Tom's birthday today. Happy birthday to, to Tom. Opportunity here for Jamie. He'll probably just draw on his backhand if he can turn the jack. That probably is what he's looking for. Turn the jack round the corner, make it much much more difficult. Rip yes. Yeah, just slightly overplayed that. Just Runner from Perry. <coughs> just on the wide side, I think. Yeah, just slipping past. <coughs> Have a chance here for Jamie. Wouldn't be surprised to see him play a similar pace to his last, just try and hold it in a bit. He has kept the pace, but still sticking yeah. wide. Yeah. yeah, just the wrong side of that ball. No, yeah, back to the drop, Eric. Can't afford to attack this. If you get the jack and you go off the rink, you're going to lose a three. Back to the drop. Back first. Yeah, just not pushed it. One shot, Paxton and Walker. 
Set score two zero at two ends. Got a new marker on for this game, Francis Fletcher. Back length twenty eight meters. Confused me, I thought. I was actually waiting on you and then somebody very new. He's not new, really, is he? He's new from, very experienced. Yes, new from this morning's game. We had Adam Fornell on this morning, and Greg Brown is our umpire. Yeah, Francis, a senior campaigner at this now. He's been here a lot of years. Chance, chance to get in first. Yeah, he's taking the opportunity there. Yeah, the ball. from Robert. Yeah, it forces Tom to switch now. He's just looking to draw and sit off his own bolt. Not far away. Good balls, yeah, excellent. He's got a shot, finishing a good place as well. Makes it more difficult to try and draw now. Effort here. Just wants to get past that one. He was unlucky there. If he'd have just slipped it, he'd have been all over that. Yeah, he was right in the area. Makes it very much harder for Perry now. He probably has to go to the forehand, try and come around the front red ball. If draws once there, it's right, and it's underneath. Does have the option of keeping his back He just doesn't want to turn a red ball in, that's the thing. Yeah, it's just unfortunate with both of the red balls, they're both sitting nice on. The line either side. I tend to do this quite a lot as a player. You just you try to come round something and, and you just overplay it. You know you have to be wide enough to get round the, the obstacle you're trying to to miss. So sometimes you just push through it slightly hard. But Perry will be happy enough for that. They're lying the shot. It's more important that Jamie tries to to convert here. Yeah, Francis just indicated there that it's only the one shot to green. Again, I think Jamie will be trying to get the shot here, but if he doesn't get the shot, I'm sure he'll be through the head this time. I'm aware that the stuff at the back's not in his favour. He needs to reach. Line's perfect. Great shot. Yeah, well played. I'll tell you something now. I think it's a great shot. He's probably left Perry an opportunity here. I think Perry will attack this. Down the backhand, he gets his green ball onto Jack. He makes three or four. It's hard for the green ball to go out now. He gets the split on the, on the wider side. If he gets the split between the red and the green ball, he's probably going to put it onto Jamie's last. Oh, 
always play these conversions with a bit more confidence when you know that you've got everything past the jack and your opponents have nothing. It's very close. Can you get the split? Oh, he great effort. Lucky just to get that full. One shot, Paxton Walker. Set to call 3 0 at three ends. Jack length, 28 metres. Keep coming down, mate. Yeah, first start. 18. Yeah, great opening bowl here from Tom. Just capitalising on the fact that Robert was just that little bit short, left him some room. He'll be happy with that. Hurry now. Run. Decent effort Run. again. Wants to get on the inside of Run. the bowl. Oh, well played, Tom. Yeah, two absolute porkers there. Absolutely superb. Two green. Just fell in there as it came to rest as well, so yeah. I think that will force Jimmy to, <coughs> yes. to attack this. He's on, I think. Okay, no work. Quite a lot down there, mate, to be fair. Yeah, it's a good ball that. Yeah, no, I mean, it's in the count and it finishes quite nicely same, behind play, it as well. Playing the same. Yeah, you're Robert saying play the same. Yeah. No, oh, he's right back to the draw. Slightly surprised, but. Right, The line's excellent. On his pace. Just move as much as you like now. Keep moving. Move. Yeah, well played. Yeah, that's a really good ball. Probably just looking to switch now. If he can drag the jack, look, jack a little bit, get last ball turning. He can use One the inside green. edge of that as well. A bit close to getting a four. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's going to switch hands. People will say, well, how close was his first one? But he's switching hands because he knows that he plays a perfect ball. He can make three or four. Now. 
Yeah, One shot, Warren Martin. Slightly overplayed that, but it was a good try. Set score three one after four ends. <coughs> One shot so far every end. Jack length twenty eight meters. That from Robert here. Did very well. Tom would definitely be disappointed with that to pull up short with both balls there. Yeah, it just makes it slightly difficult because I'm sure Robert will try and repeat his last. Come round the green balls and finish into the head. These green balls then become a problem. <coughs> One bit of draw for Perry now. Two red. Bad effort, but just slightly overplayed. Can't afford to be short, that's a problem. Yeah, Jamie just looking at that bowl as a guide now. You can sit off it. Here, count with another one. Yeah, he's missed the opportunity. Well, Perry just needs to adjust it, take 18 inches off or so. On his pace, his line's really good again. Can he reach? It's not quite. Up. See if I draw the forehand now. Line two. Overplayed Two that. shots, Paxton and Walker. It's very unusual for somebody of Jamie's ability to not beat one of them count, however. Set to go five, one after five end. Jack length 28 metres. Thank you. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's right in the road. You're 18 inches, top side of it, very good. <coughs> Adjusted, but still plenty of room. A good yard or so for Tom to draw in here. He'll just be looking to rest inside last bolt. It's unlucky that. Yeah, it wasn't far away, but feeling this match, Tom wants to get the better of Robert for Tom and Perry to have a, a good chance in this game. If Robert keeps beating Tom, it's put a lot of pressure on Perry. Somebody with Jamie's ability, he played his probably his two poorest, poorest balls the last time they've ever seen him play and I fully expect him to get back in the zone here if he can draw one right onto the jack. Makes it extremely difficult for Perry. Jamie just returning the favour there. <laughs> now Perry's gone for a higher line here. Has to have good weight or he won't get back. It's a problem, isn't it? You've seen the last two bowls dip in and latch onto the uh, shorter probably one. Probably about right. Close for two again now. Front one sat. Jamie won't want to adjust too much. A bowl higher and that'll be enough. Nice. Right, put it really well. Needs to keep running. Not quite, I don't think. Yeah, but where he's finished makes it extremely difficult. You know, we've got a great view of the head there. If you're Perry Martin, what do you play? You know, he, he probably can't draw it on the forehand because of the front green one. But now he tries to draw it on the backhand. There's there's nothing but red balls to, to, to promote. So, uh, a real headache for him. It's not an awful lot to hit at either. It probably depends how many he's down. Um, <coughs> if he's down two or three, probably just as well attack it. If you're only one down, then you don't want to flick your own green ball out the head. It's I think depending how many uh, Perry Martin thinks he's he, you know is against him, will decide the shot he plays. If it's only one, then he'll stick with probably a draw. If it's more than one, he might look to to play something a bit, a bit more attacking. An attacking ball. It's unlucky that ball locked on that. Still might not have changed it. Two, I think. Two shots, Paxton and Walker. <laughs> Set score 7 1 after six ends. So Robert and Jamie just pulling away a little bit now. Obviously both very experienced players. Both have got some world titles to their name. Jamie, the current singles champion. Jack length, 28 metres. Yes, and then very important for Tom Warner and Perry Martin to score here. They're starting to run out of ends. Robert will be hoping to shut that down with his first bowl here. <coughs> well, he's giving Tom a chance here by pulling up short. 
really needs to take this opportunity. You don't often get it against a player such as Robert. Yeah, well done, Tom. That's what he needs to do. He needs to win this front end battle. Yeah, well played. I wouldn't say that any of the four players have completely settled on the rink yet. They've definitely all got other gears to find and I think the margin of the score suggests that what uh, Robert and Jamie have done is they've, they've just been slightly more consistent with the two but I wouldn't say any of the four players will at this stage think I'm nailing it every time. So one or two good ends can get Tom and Perry back into this. Yeah, another good ball here from Tom. Yeah, we'll play Tom. Superb. Yeah, just the right time for it as well. <laughs> Wonder whether Jamie will attack that with his first. Yeah, I know I would be. <laughs> I certainly would be coming at that, but probably just looking at all the angles and. I wish if he gets the the red ball on the green, it's going to force it onto the jack. It's not a toucher, so yeah, you would probably still be one down, but it would give uh, give Jamie a lot more room with his second ball. And sometimes in bowls, that's uh, you know that's exactly what you've got. You've got like a two ball um, shot. You're not probably going to get it with your first, but you want to try and open it up and give yourself a chance. You know, he's sticking with the draw, but all he's going to do is finish short here and make it even harder for himself. Not a mi million miles away, but... Chance for Perry. About a foot of room to, to draw another one here. Because Jamie has failed on the short side, it means he doesn't have anything past the jack. Yeah, he's really in trouble now. Oh, oh, well played, Perry. Absolutely superb. Yeah, what the ball. Brilliant. And now, with nothing past the head, I think he's got to hit it and hope. Yeah, I think he's got to. He's free down anyway. But he's now relying on luck. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are. You hit this head, you've nothing past the jack. You need a bit of luck. Um, you know, he, he, all he can do is hit what he wants to try and hit and then hope he gets a decent sort of result at the end of it. Doesn't naturally have a, a, a back ball, so <coughs> it's three down. It can't, well, in theory, it can't be any worse, but you know, even if he takes a couple out, he'll probably be happy. Seven one up. Yeah, quite an important ball here. He doesn't want to miss it and give Cher Perry a chance to add a fourth. Well, he's in the target area. What's he getting? Now he's got two away. He'd be delighted with that. Absolutely delighted with that. I think it's probably the best result he could have got there. Yeah, I think you're right. If he'd, if he'd hit the outside plant, I think he was still going to be three down. So, to now be only one down, he'll be absolutely delighted. And it's not an easy draw for Perry. He's only got about a foot of room to... Add another seven one in seven. He probably try. He needs to try and make it count. <coughs> Decent effort here. He needs to run on. Yeah, well played, Perry. Both Tom and Perry had a cool for an end there. Two shots, Warner and Martin. Set score 7-3 after seven ends. 
So they're right back in with a chance of winning this set now. Having a little discussion there. Where do they put the jack? What do they do? I think really it doesn't really matter too much where the jack goes. They both just need to knuckle down and repeat what we saw last end. <coughs> Well, they're going short. Back then, 25 metres. different length here, but great start from Tom. Yeah, both players have made good adjustments to a new length. Yeah, Tom won't be looking to change much, but if he can sit inside last ball, that'd be the ideal. Sadly, just lost his weight there. Track again. Ah, oh, superb. Well played, Robert Paxton. Lost a two to the last end and. Two red. Aware this is a huge end. Score the end to win the set. Front toucher. Bowl about nine inches, ten inches behind. Can't ask for better than that. I think Jamie will just go deep here. Not really that bothered if they lose a one. Um, just don't, don't want to lose a two or a three. So I think he'll try and just get past the screen ball, but he's not quite making it. Tough shot for Perry, but he's probably just got to try and hold it in a bit. Get a bit of move, movement of the jack. Hold up. Hold back. Hold back. Hold. Hold. Yeah. <laughs> He's made a one. The world champion's coming behind them. He's got four or five yards to draw as well. I think he's got about 60 yards to draw. It's uh, just put the one to red. One shot in the first set. Paxton and Walker. So then the first set goes to Robert Paxton and Jamie Walker. But our live coverage wouldn't be possible without our sponsors, Imagine Cruising. It's not just cruises though, they've got available. They have rail journeys, package holidays and events. So let's take a little look at why Imagine Cruising is more than just a cruise.
particular. So don't forget to take a closer look on their website for more details. We've even got an exclusive offer for you of 5% off if you quote Bowls24. But now back, back with you in the second set. Tom Warner and Perry Martin will be looking to crack down a little bit this time. Forget about the last set, move on. And come out the blocks in this second set. Yeah, well, certainly they've, they've stuck with a shorter jan jack length. Again, Robertson first. there by finishing behind. It was a pretty good effort to be fair. Get something for Robert to look at as well. If he can just get inside last ball. Oh, well played. Yeah, perfect. There, just missing with his first. Disappointed with that. exactly where Robert wanted that. Yeah, forcing Perry back onto the draw. He used to have good, good weight to get back. We'll start coming now. Just lacking that last little bit. Coastland. Similar bowl, really, for Jamie. If he can just sit on his last, maybe moving a shout of picking up a four. Yeah, I think he was just asking Robert if he sits on Robert's ball and falls back on the jack, would he would he cause a bit of damage? But I think it's still the same ball, as you say, backhand draw. Just slightly pushed it through. Yeah, caught the wrong side of it. Three shots, Paxton and Walker. Still a three throw. So that's got three zero at first end. When you've won the first set and you can start the second one with a three, just adds to your confidence. If you're the opponent, it just gives you that bit of concern. It's the last thing that Perry and Tom would have wanted was to start this set losing a, a three. Plenty ends, but just psychologically. Set they must win. Yeah, I think Back it's quite length, important now for meters. Tom to step it up a gear. Give Perry a chance. I think the most concerning thing is Robert's probably put his, his best two ends of the match at the last end of the first set and the first end of the second. If he keeps doing that, he's just going to make the task for Tom even harder. Left a little bit of room here for Tom. 
he can step in now. Put Robert under pressure again. Through the jack, you can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, well adjusted from Tom. <laughs> Taking a shot there. One green. Nice chance here for Jamie with his first, if he can just tuck the jack. Move it a few inches, he'll be making a free. Yeah, just play it as a draw and hope that you're, as you see, on the jack, turn it anything at all. You're going to make these back two balls shots. Well played. Job, it's well played. Put the ball. Up to you, mate. Yeah, well played. Not reach him. Still the same. If you get off the back of mine, you'd be close to counting. If you do nudge yours, you might move the jack a fraction, yeah. which is all good. Yeah, Jamie, just not quite pushing through there. Not making it any easier for Perry, though. All he's really got is the draw here. Yeah, pretty tough draw at that as well, off the backhand. Got to negotiate around the, the front green ones. Really good try, this. It falls in. Oh, oh, what it's thing. just staying on the grips. One shot, Paxton and Walker. Really good effort, just didn't Let's sit down. Let's go 4-0 after two ends. <laughs> Jack length, 28 metres. definitely stepped up a gear or two here in this last few ends. He's been very, very consistent. Getting his balls in close to the jack, making it much more difficult for Tom and Perry. The 
winner of this game will be waiting on the the two o'clock match between Scottish duo and the Australian pair. Just not quite pushing through again. Superb. That's what happens when Jamie hasn't had an awful lot to do, has he? So he's just able to keep drawing in, really settling on the pace, keep piling on the pressure for Perry. Wouldn't be surprised to see a runner here try and open it up. Yeah, one of Tom's is behind as well. He's under. He's a bit of luck. Not got any. This will be a deep ball here from, from Jamie. Jack doesn't look like it's going to leave the rink, so anything in behind where Robert's standing now, that's where he needs to be. Yeah, absolutely, in the head at the moment, it hasn't got a lot of width, has it? So he didn't want to try and draw another and accidentally leave an edge. Give something for Perry to work off. So the cover, certainly the best choice here. Yeah, well executed. Well, Perry's not going to like what he sees when he gets there. Would you be going again here, Darren? <laughs> it's difficult because I think if he does go, then you're basically saying, well, I'm losing a one. Maybe a two, because at the end of the day, the balls he's going to crash into. The two red balls are touchers. You can see the spray chalk on them. So if they stay in the back of the rink, then he, you know, he could lose two or three. But his only alternative, to, if he wants to score the end, his only alternative is the perfect draw. He's got like about three millimetres to draw the shot. So <laughs> it doesn't matter what he plays. I mean, the target's not big either. That's the thing. It's not like it's a massive head to hit. Even if he hits it perfect, I just don't see where he scores. And that's why he's playing the draw. The only way he can score the end is the perfect draw. And sadly, he's missed that. Not quite pushed it enough. So two shots, two Paxton shots and Walker. Robert Paxton and Jamie Walker there, extending their lead in the second set. Set score 6-0 after three ends. Yep, certainly off to a good start here in the second set. Tom Warner and Perry Martin just need to step it up. <coughs> Get those heads building. Give themselves a chance. Jack Glenn, 27 and a half metres. <coughs> to be scoring the next end or two. But another really good start here from Robert Paxton. Yeah, really good it's hard when you're not quite finding the weight in your opponents playing like Robert is. Good, mate. Thanks, good. Yeah, definitely not a good track again. Quick 
Quicker to get round it. Quicker to get round oh, it. Not too good ball, so Robert. Yeah, really nice finish with a second there as well. That's a very, very narrow line. I think this will hook away. Too red. Yeah. <coughs> well, again, the end shaping up nice and comfortably for Jamie. Perry in a bit of trouble again. up quite nicely actually I thought it was a tight line when he let it go right. not the right side of the jack but forces Perry into a runner I think he's finished in an awkward close. place close mate. it's close well yeah, yeah got both out there well you really needed that ball probably a couple of balls fight you place to be fair yeah, managed to get nice contact on the bowls. They both went away. Neither one. But still a fair bit of room for Jamie to draw in here. Good night, Billy. Just slip now. Get it fast, up, fast, up, fast. Yes, mate. Well yeah, well played. Yeah, well, he's... <laughs> He's trying the shot, but I'm quite sure if you interviewed him right now, he'd be saying he wanted to try and side the green ball. He's actually come round it and turned at the end. Second tries, but you got the shot. Things right. are going right for you, they just seem to keep go. going right. Oh, mate. Yeah, well played. Yeah, well played. One shot, Paxton and Walker. Set score 7-0 after four rounds. Scoreboard ticking over. So they'll try and do it. Get into the last three ends and hope your opponents are needing seven or eight shots. It's a really tough ask at that point. Jack length 28 metres. Don't forget, if you are tuning in at home, we've got three more games being streamed later today. Here for 17 days. The BBC take over next Monday. We'll be with you until then. And again, great stuff. Yeah, Robert's been very consistent in this set. Fairness, he's, he's probably had it relatively easy so far. Tom's just been slightly looser, particularly in this set. As a player, that just gives you the confidence to just keep trying to get them in as close as you can. Somebody like Jamie Walker coming behind you.
Decent effort here from Perry. Needs to run on though. Yeah, well played. Just drawn the shot there. <laughs> Jamie can just follow that up now. Rest on the inside of it. Turn it away. Decent effort here. Well played, Jamie. And Perry back in trouble again. One red. Yeah. These draws are always slightly more easier when you're seven yeah. up on the scoreboard in the second set, having won the first. Still got to execute it though. He did it superbly well. It's another end where he makes it really difficult for Perry to score. And he must start scoring ends. Looking at all the angles here. He doesn't want to risk turning his own bowl out and dropping a free. Because that really could then be game over. What would you play here, Emily? What would you play? I think I'd just draw, look to be on the back of his last bowl and turn it round. Not an easy shot though, is it? No, it doesn't matter what he does, he's, 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 he's tough. Um, I think you really don't want to risk turning his own bowl out the head there, because... No, oh, because it, it would be game over at that point. You can't drop 10-0 down. I think he's only really got the draw on. Very similar to his last, and he won't be far away. Just not quite reaching. One shot, Paxton and Walker. <laughs> Set score eight zero after five ends. Well, Robert Paxton and Jamie Walker just pulling away now. Four ends left to play though. Got an eight nil lead, having won the first set as well. They'll certainly be feeling quite comfortable at this point. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. Yeah, another excellent start here from Robert Paxton. Great reply here from Tom. Yeah, well, well bowled. The rest of that shot bowled perfectly. Hard change, mate. Any touch, really good. Yeah, Rice sort of wait for it. Just managed to lock onto the bowl. Robert Paxson now changing his hand. Let's just draw him. He managed to trail the jack round the corner well, even mate, better. <laughs> really not far away here. Same again, mate. Just that last. Two foot or so. Same bowl for Tom. If he can rest off of Robert's back bowl, that'd be a very good position. Shuts it down for Jamie. Gets him a second as well. It's in the area. Oh, he's a little unlucky. Yeah, it was unlucky contact. Could have been a bowl higher. Would have been ideal. One green. Jamie just looking to play this on the tighter side. 
to work off of Robert's Bowls the ideal, but there's a few options. Two feet more of pace and that would have been alright. It's just so hard though for Perry to get another shot without giving it away. One that isn't really that much use to be fair. Better than not scoring the end certainly, but still leaves him a massive task of getting eight Very shots right, over the next right three ends. That's why he's just underplayed this. Knows he's sell if he just comes up there carrying a slightly Same fraction too much pace, he gives it away. I'll just push him through. Not an easy shot for One an shot, ad, Warner and Martin. They're on the board. Set score eight one after six ends. So Tom Warner and Perry Martin now need eight shots in three ends. A tie won't be enough having lost the first set. Jack Lens, 29 metres. Decent end of bowling here from Tom. He's got the shot and he's finishing through. But of course, they need to pick up a couple of shots at least here. Decent try here. It's just going to catch the wrong side of it. One green. I think as a player, uh, at this stage of the match, you're probably wanting to to score a three here, really, to give yourself any chance, because you know that you're not going to have the last ball in any of the last times. To if you're going to be successful and get back in the set, you're going to have have to score every end. So probably start with a three here if they can. Shot is on for Perry. If he can just drag that jack a little bit. Needs to run. Must reach. Oh, we'd be disappointed with that. So draw a split the two green there. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, Jamie just looking for damage control here. They've got second ball. Well, it's like role reversal from what I just spoke about. You know, Jamie knows that if they lose a one, even a two, they're probably not that bothered. So he's not actually, you know, that bothered if he draws the shot here. He just wants to get into an area where he stops them scoring a three. He's played it very well. Sits inside the back green one. Yep. Yeah. Great ball. Now forcing Perry to draw for two. Yeah, 
Give him a point. He's down a good track here. Is he going to run? Not quite. Not that last little bit. Two. Two shots, Warner and Martin. <laughs> Set score 8 3 after seven ends. score six shots over the next two ends. It's a tall order. Jack length, 28 metres. from Tom in the background, he's, he's actually played pretty well the last couple of ends, he's probably thinking where was this for him half an hour ago, he just started to, to struggle for the pace. Right, right. Very good reply. Well yeah, good reply from Robert. He knows that Tom and Perry are chasing the shots, so a good second or a good third, it's just what he needs. Doesn't like this one. Thinks it's quick. Very well played, Robert. Really One green. Going to make it very hard now for Perry to <laughs> make a three. Obviously, needs six shots over the next two ends to win it. Tell a good track. Just needs to run. No, try, well, it is a great try, but it's not good enough. One shot is no use to them here. It would end the game. Jamie's not far away either. Really not making this easy for Perry to add a second. Probably repeat his last, I think, and hope he, hope he just goes a bit further. All on this bowl, then. Can Perry save the match? He's out on a very wide line. I don't uh, think he'll get back. One shot, Warner and Paxton. Second set down the match. Rob Paxton, Jamie Walker. So there you have it. The winners of this match. Robert Paxton and Jamie Walker. They won the first set 8-3 and the second set 8-4. Now let's take it to our sponsors, Imagine Cruising, and see why they're more than just a cruise.
I'd never been invited to do anything like that. days of the, the boring holiday are over, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll be back with you at 2 o'clock this afternoon, where we'll see Paul Foster MBE and Jason Banks play Chris Carruthers and Justin Wright from Australia. Then at 3.45, we'll have our first singles game with England's David Bolt playing Julia Gallo from the USA. Then this evening, we'll see Jason Greenslade and Michael Stepney play Ronnie Duncan and Colin Walker. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you shortly.